I didn't notice this before. It says ancient passport. Is this some kind of decoration? Hmm. I don't know. There's an indent in the middle. I wonder what that is. This place seriously is a lot of weird stuff. Okay. But yeah, I was rewatch or not rewatching. I guess it's the first time I've seen it, but reliving the story of the original Danganronpa. And I kind of forgot how amazing, like, the original Danganronpa was. Like, I, d I didn't forget, forget, but it helped me remember how amazing it was. Like, wow, that, that story was really great, and I really liked that ending, too. And the second one was pretty great, too. Not for the same reasons, but Nagito really did a great job on that, too. So I'm kind of looking forward to this with kind of renewed enthusiasm. Should we want to head down? Hmm. I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Then let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. Uh, okay. uh, so I'm in the front. I see. With hesitant Suichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. She seems very hopeful. Like Makoto was. Oh, this place is spooky. Um, it doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Uh, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. I see. Suichi, you've quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement, too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I like the title Nightmare in the Locker. Oh, it's very dark down here. Spooky. I like that globe. It's a good globe. As soon as I open the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Is this a library? You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Uh. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Suichi? No. No, it's just... I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Someone? No. Uh, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Get a lot more freedom of movement in here. Or not movement, but you can rotate more. This monitor is way too high tech to be placed in a school. That person might be no. Okay, so we need to talk to her first. Gotcha. Can we hit books? This library isn't so full after all. I'm like, I'm addicted to hitting things now that I, I learn money comes out of them. Although, once you do that, this library feels a lot less full than before, you know? Hmm. The library is this messy. Huh? Maybe someone was recently here? No. I can't say for sure just yet. Let's investigate the room. This looks like a ladder for reaching books on higher shelves. What a beautiful globe. It is pretty cool, I like it. Is that it? She looks strange. Hey. 
I don't know what it is right off, but there's something about her. Are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I... I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... Suichi Sahira. S Sahira. <laughs> and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Is the reason why clicking just stopped Please. working? Uh, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um. And what about you? Maki Harukawa. Ultimate child caregiver. That sounds kind of boring. I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? <sighs> Surprised? I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, the children must like you a lot, right? I put them to work in the slave camps. I am the ultimate at generating labor out of the children. I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. Not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just... I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um... Ah, uh, by the way, do you know anything about the monocubs? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Well, well, fair point. Hmm. Mono cubs are definitely involved in our situation. Wait a minute. Hey, boy detective. Shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from around the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. Why are you so unbelievably hopeful right now? We barely know anything about our situation. Work together. With strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Like, unnecessarily optimistic, it feels like. Our conversation finished. She quickly headed out of the library. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Don't say that. Maybe it's one of those things where, like, you're good with kids? Okay, now it'll let me look at bookcases. You're good with kids, but you don't like them. I can understand that, I think. There are a lot of books crammed in here. And they're all in different languages, too. How is anyone supposed to take a book off the shelf when they're crammed in like this? Books written in various languages line the shell. Some of these letters make no sense. What language are these supposed to be? These books seem difficult to read, and they're not even written in a language I, I recognize. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with them. Good work. Oh, this leads back out into the hallway. 
So there's two entrances to that room. I think that's fairly notable because most rooms don't have that. And I think that's fairly noticeable. Oh, wait, can I hit these? Oh, no, I can't. I can't hit anything out here. I think that's fairly notable in that... Oh, that's important too, I'm sure. That panel. Unless there's more of them and it's not important, but... Something could happen and someone could exit from the rear door and try to confuse someone. Like, most of these rooms have a single entrance and a single exit. That looks evil. So... It'd be impossible for someone to exit in a different way than they entered. This door is not on the map. Huh? Um. Why is there a picture of, like, close-up texture and not her? What's wrong? Um. I think that's supposed to be Kaide, and that's definitely not Kaide. This door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. This is going to be important for something. It's not on the map. It's got to be. There's also, an, like, there's only one panel I'm seeing. That other thing looks like maybe like an electrical panel. This looks like an actual access panel, so, like, you could crawl in it. So that might be important, and I feel like this downstairs thing might be important, too. What if instead of having just a room be the site of a murder, what if they, like, do a whole floor? Like, the bottom floor is small enough that you could feasible. I feel like you could do a murder with the whole floor being part of it. That would be kind of cool. This monitor is way too high tech to be used in a school. Okay, that's all we're going to say about monitors. Ah, oh, this weird looking guy. Short guy. This looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well, it certainly is strange. I mean, this machine's broken over here, so it kind of sucks. Oh, I forgot to use the pulse thing in the other room. Hmm. Looks like it's locked. Yeah. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. When we leave, I'm going to go back. If I Well, actually, if this is the last person, they might not let me leave. Can I not investigate all this stuff? Suck it, Bucks! Okay, so I can't look into that. That's a little disappointing. I was wanting to look into the broken machine. Any new dialogue? No, not really. I can see robots in this room, too. Or roots. I, I don't know where robots came from. I don't think the game machines will work. That's disappointing. What now? What a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. However. We may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. An ultimate prisoner. <laughs> Ryoma Hoshi. The, the ultimate, ultimate prisoner. The tennis pro. No oh. longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Oh. It's just like uh, Leon from the first game, who was the ultimate baseball guy, but he didn't want to do baseball, right? That was that was like his thing. Ryoma Hoshi, really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. Paper said he shot through, shot them through the head with his tennis skills in an iron ball. It's a little brutal. What the heck, really? <laughs> so you know that much already. 
Well, what do you think of the loser before you used his talent to kill? Um... But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No. It's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly... Anyway, I'm warning you. Look at look at that, like, those duck lips. It's a good stuff there. Like, gonna give me a duck face. It's dangerous just to walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Those are some good lips he's got there. Let's take a look. Alright, she likes morning lake shores, dislikes winter lake shores. Alright. Also, her birthday is almost the same as mine. Very close. Likes Russian blues, dislikes white tip reef sharks. Very, very um, specific. So we're still missing one, two, three, four, five students. Yeah, we saw this. Okay, I was about to say, we saw those ones already, right? Yeah, we did. So there's still some students left, but I don't see where they're at on the map. And I think we've explored everything we can already. Maybe. I'm gonna go back in here really quick, because I did want to do a pulse and see if I missed anything. Nice and messy again. Yeah. Nothing in here. I mean, I might have missed something, but I don't think I did. So we definitely, I'm pretty sure we went in that classroom. That's where the robot guy and the dictator dude was at, I, I think. Oh, this is open now. Couldn't go through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. Someone opened it for us? Let's check it out. Uh. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Suichi. This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait. I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not work. Oh, excellent. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I've already examined the doors. Uh, yes. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Alright, that's interesting. Nice clothes, too. Korekio? Anthropologist? Please call me Keo. I will because that's you got a you got a long name. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, sure. Anthropology is. Sorry, I thought I was gonna say it. Studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. Or maybe even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example. Certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm-hmm. Okay. I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. 
It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um. Um. <laughs> I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. And it turns out he is one, too. Hmm. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? If so... You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that, too, may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Look, your outfit would be mostly okay if it wasn't for the, like, creepy mask with the zipper mouth thing. We still haven't found all the students yet. It's still under construction up there. And I think above that there's a ceiling. I can't really look up high enough to tell, but it looks like that. I wonder if I walked over here, I can look a little higher. Yeah, it's just the ceiling of lights. It's not actual, like, skylight. Although, it might be like a ceiling of glass, which the sun comes through. Alright. Huh? Our hopes will be shattered. What does that mean? Take a look at that report card real quick. Likes straw ropes, dislikes air conditioning. Nice mask, by the way. Shuichi. Then, let's go. Uh, okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared. Because... What if... Beyond this is just... That's wrong! Ah, oh, jeez, this isn't like me! Aww. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away! I gotta move forward! Are you okay? Kaide! Of course! Don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi! I psyched myself up. And with a newfound strength, walk boldly towards the doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by... Blue skies. Bright sunlight. Gentle wind. And... A cage? A, a cage? A wall? I mean, to be fair, this is more outdoors than most of the other kids got. Well, no, no, no. The one kid's had a deserted island, but... Um... I guess this is still more like freedom than the, than the first Hope's Peak kids had in the first game. Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. So I wonder why they bother... <laughs> Chaining up all the windows and doors anyway, if it doesn't matter. Maybe just to make you feel like there's hope and then you get out here and there's not hope? Maybe that's part of the despair thing? The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Rise and shine, Earth sign! Hey! Surprised about the cage, huh? Totally understand how you feel. First time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Get a rock hard rager! <laughs> Meow. But it's so awesomely huge, I can see why it's called the End Wall. 
Huh? End wall. That's right. Normally walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Hey. What are you talking about? What? What were we talking about? Yeah. What well, was someone? Was someone talking? Was I talking? Right now, you're on the jeez. Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. The wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually. An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. What? But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone! Help us! Please help us! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Stop it! You'll hurt your throat! That's right! Yeah, scream all you like, no one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us? Hey! What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? I think they would notice a ginormous cage before they heard you screaming. Wait! Say something! Hey! One of you, just answer! Damn it! Hmm. Mono Dam is ignoring them excellently, because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Oh, voice crack. Now, now, let's all get going. Get along, I mean. Shut up, we're the Mono Cubs, we need to be tough and whatnot. What is this? Things. This school. What is all of this? So. You guys have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourself. Actually. But please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. Looks like they're still building some of the facilities out here. Um. Are they still in the middle of building the school? No. I don't think so. Seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Uh. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we fin once we set the Existels on autopilot. Huh? Existels. Sorry. Existels? Hell yeah! Once part of a biker gang. The Exosols now work construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Um. Their steering wheels, their steering wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prices. You stupid! Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like idiots with backstories like those. So long. Bye. <laughs> and there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall? And no one's coming to rescue us. Oh, geez. But if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks. And as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey. Hey, Suichi. Let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside his head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! You know? Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others. But we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We, we may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. 